Hi, thanks for joining us today on our Unleash the Power of Manager SE 9.1 webinar. My name is Tim McDonald and I'm the Mitchell One Senior Marketing Manager for Manager SE. It will be my privilege to share some exciting product enhancements that will positively impact your daily workflow. We're excited to tell you about a new feature set that makes the industry's most popular shop management system even better. These new features will help shops run their businesses more efficiently. The enhanced flexibility is designed to support the way you work with improved job management and customer communications. The recent Manager SE 9.1 release introduces the powerful job view feature set that enables users to group work by the job, to clearly separate and spotlight each labor operation with its associated parts on estimates and invoices. Job view enhances shop productivity by providing clear organization on the screen and in customer facing documents. With job elements grouped visually, shops can work faster. Your customers will gain a better understanding right away for the work you are performing. This also makes for faster customer approvals and acceptance of invoice work completed. The first thing you notice is that work seen on the order screen is now segmented into job containers. It's simple to get started. New job launches a job container for the work to be added. If you just launched a new estimate, you already have your first job container to get working with. Click on new job later as you need to add more job containers for other types of work. Quick Menu provides the fastest access to all of your canned jobs, neatly displayed by category. The Advanced Quick Menu feature provides a clever way to get dozens, if not hundreds, of canned jobs delivered to the order screen, available in a compact, easy-to-use interface. This is how you apply completed work items faster to a job on an estimate or order. Here's a closer look at how JobView's redesign estimate helps shops have clear conversations with vehicle owners about the work that needs to be done. Each job now has its own shaded title, making it all much easier to understand delivered in this straightforward manner. Think of it, no more having to take the time to explain the work because the previous document templates listed parts and labor in two uneven columns with different amounts of content that didn't always line up. Each job here is clearly spelled out with subtotals so customers can instantly see how each of the jobs, how much each of the jobs will cost. Job view provides first time check profit per job capability. Just click on that little bar chart icon you see in the red box there on the left side. Now shops can quickly confirm profitability of each individual job. Select any other job on this order from the drop down list to check its own profit. Users can still, of course, check profit of the entire order by selecting it from the same drop down list. As part of our SE 9.1 check profit upgrade, we've also added a new measurement tool gross profit per hour dollars. Users tell us they are gaining new insights on selling tires, oil changes, and other work previously thought to be less profitable. This is a great tool to analyze your sales in the moment. Instant can jobs. It's faster than ever to create can jobs from the job containers with a single click. Just select that new shortcut menu option. That's the three dots on the right side. And then all that job content, whether it's labor parts, sublet notes, all of that will be copied into a can job shell. Now that you've made the choice to add this new can job to your system to use in the future, let's review the details. The category and description are automatically filled in. So just give it a unique name in the job number field so that you can find and select it in the future. It's a good idea to check that include in quick menu box so that it will appear under its category using the quick menu button. Later, when you're working up an estimate, that new can job is listed so it can be quickly added. Handling deferred work with ease. If your customer decides not to improve all the work that you identified for them on the estimate, now it's quick to move any deferred jobs over to revisions. Select move to revision and choose an empty slot. During that move, we automatically rename that subestimate tab for easy reference in the future. No more potential work gets lost, no special keyboard moves to remember, just a single step to quickly manage this process. Discounts can now support both type, both order and job level options at the same time. This newly expanded functionality allows two potential discounts applied to any job. 
For example, you might apply an order discount by customer type or whatever reason you choose. Plus, you can now apply a job level discount for any specific service performed. This ability has been a long standing request, now made possible as part of the job view feature set. Let's look at how easy it is now to reuse past work performed in your shop. This work could be a repeat procedure for the same customer and vehicle, or perhaps copied for use on someone else's vehicle entirely. With a customer and vehicle selected, go to the history screen. Browse the posted invoices using either categories, invoice totals, or entering something in search to narrow it down. When you find the invoice that has the likely job you're looking for, double click on it to open it up to confirm the contents. Now that you've located the work that you were looking for, click on the job container menu option you want to use. Copy job, that's for the line items to use on the same or a different order. Create new can job, that's adding it to your system for future usage. Copy to order, and this is how that works. If you got to history from utilities, customer, or vehicle screen, that three tab view, it's gonna launch a new estimate with your copied job. If you got here from the full five tab active order view, that copy job will be added to that existing order. And then lastly, copy to revision. Select a sub estimate tab as the destination. And remember, we'll, it'll rename that uh, revision tab for you automatically in the process. Since we started from the customer screen three tab view, this is your new estimate launched from that job you just located in history. This is a good time just to stop and recap what you've seen so far. New time-saving job view organization. Improved documents for vehicle owners makes discussion simpler and approvals faster. Ability to confirm profitability at the job level, making sure that they all meet your prof profit goals for your business. First time ability to apply discounts to individual jobs. Quickly manage the deferred work process. Quickly create a new estimate from a job in history. Create canned jobs instantly. That's a lot of time saving improvements, right? And now it's time for some important housekeeping. Distribution of manager SE releases is throttled by a lottery system of customer account numbers. If you have not seen the manager SC91 update yet and prefer not to wait, you may click on help, check for updates to get your 91 update sooner. Now that we've shared what job view provides, those of you who don't yet have the new job or quick menu buttons are probably wondering why this is. So let's now focus on the setup shop data presentation tab that was added with the Manager SE 9.1 release. For the presentation tab discussion, I've included some sample shots to confirm what each job view option will affect. Each option I'll discuss will have a red box around its name. Here you can see I've added a job container below and a new estimate template in a green box to the left. I think that this helps make it easier to understand each option, so here we go. Group by the job. This is the master switch that controls whether users will see the older legacy screens and documents or the new job view versions when this box is checked. This is a global setting that impacts all users and all your manager SE computers. Therefore, we recommend this setting should be discussed with all manager SE users in the shop. Default is on for new users and off for existing customers. This was done to prevent current user frustration with unexpected workflow changes. We do believe that most existing shops are very likely to enable job view mode once they understand the benefits provided. If you haven't turned on job view mode, it all starts here. Have that conversation in your shop, then click on configurations, shop data, and look for that new presentation tab up there in the back row. Check the box for group by job view. Now all the options are lit up and available to make your selections, and we're going to go through those now. Display sublet as labor. This will relabel any sublets on your printed estimate and invoice to appear as labor items. This way, the customer document displays all labor as being performed internal to your shop. It also adds a checkbox on screen to each sublet at entry item, uh, edit item window to control labeling of sublets on the screen. Display order level charges. This generates an order box on screen to display any hazmat, shop supplies, or other fees 
plus any order level discounts that may have been applied. The example shown in the green box would display below your job containers on the order screen. Any of your job level discounts would be within the job containers that those are applied to. Set category from job. This option copies job category to any job container items that are lacking category. Here's an example where engine performance is set as job category for the container, but there is an item within it set to none. Users can customize the box color around these none entries, and I've got more to say about those color settings a little bit later on. The idea is to draw your attention to items missing technician assignment or category information. It's better to be made aware of these sooner instead of getting to the final invoice printing when you're busy trying to check customers out and then having to stop and deal with fixing these before you can proceed. Now you'll notice them and correct them sooner, uh, perhaps before you get busy at the end of your transactions. With set category from job option enabled, your system will copy the category for the job container, in this case, to the job items that were lacking that category information. Show labor hours on estimates and invoices. This one will be obvious. Uh, display of labor hours can be defaulted off here. What I'm showing you here in this green box to the left is you'll still have the option to override that when you're in the print preview window. Good to know in case you need to make an exception for perhaps a warranty company or a similar situation. A programming note, this option does not control the display of labor rate. That was a template error that is being corrected in Manager SC 9.2 that is due out in a couple months. I think this is a good place to mention that job view estimates and invoices are single version templates. What does that mean? In the past, we had to maintain multiple versions of the same templates to address all the variations of with and without labor hours, with and without part numbers, revision data, and so forth. Here's how we handle it with job view templates. The version you need is selected when the document template references the settings controlled under the presentations tab. It will apply your selections made here to present the version you need, while also still giving you those override options when you're in the print preview window, which is in that green box to the left side of your screen. I'll tell you how those differing state requirements are handled when we get down to show revisions. Show part numbers on estimates and invoices. Set your preferred default here, an override is always possible in that print preview window if you need to make an exception for warranty company or something similar. Here we see how an exception is made to the presentation tab option where show part numbers is defaulted to no, but in the print preview window options, green box on the left, I changed it to yes and clicked on submit to update the document. That's why you see the part number appearing at the bottom on the right side of the screen below the blue text. The next time a document is prepared, it reverts back to using your selection of not showing part numbers. This approach eliminates the need to switch templates in the moment to get what you need. Show order revisions on invoices. To be clear, we're not talking about the revision screen. This is about the revisions between the original estimate or printed approved RO and the final invoice amount. Each time revisions occur against the original estimate, or RO marked as approved printed, Manager SE records a piece of data. Please note that this data is required to be included in some states while optional in others. This option is controlled by you and not the Manager SE software. You might be wondering how the state-specific requirements are handled with single document templates. Manager SE checks your shop data information and uses the state field information where your shop is located to inform the template preparation which header and footer options to display in the print preview window. For example, the Florida options list is, well, let's just say it's a little bit longer than other states, but all those parameters are there. Show technicians on invoices. This controls the display of the technician's name in a very small font size down in the signature line area. I put an example of this at the bottom of the screen with an arrow pointing to it. If you do not wish to include tech names, leave this option unchecked. All users will inherit the selection that you've made here. Print mode of estimates and invoices. Well, it's pretty simple. You're going to select color or black and white as your default. You do always have that override and print preview if you needed that. And I believe that's the complete rundown 
of the presentation tab options as part of the uh, job view feature set. I do want to cover a few more features while I have your attention so you know there's even more reason to get your version of Manager SE updated to enjoy the benefits of the current 9.1 release. I've got to mention another major advance that got started before 9.1 to make sure you know your options. Back in Manager SE 8.5, we began with an update to our work in progress screen appearance and customized status options. With Manager SE 9.0, we expanded those options to be across our order, revision, and history screens as well. Not that long ago, all users shared the same background color with limited line color options. If you didn't really like the parts ordered parts received colors, there was no way to change them. That is until now. Users can have customized customization options to personalize their workspace. Users can customize color schemes, including dark mode, font styles, font sizes with a bold text option for a more personalized experience. You know, the other day I was talking to a shop I talked to quite a bit, and I mentioned the fact that we're doing this job view webinar and uh, got a request to actually uh, get a shop perspective. So I want to turn you over to Mr. Rick Marin from Motor Car Alternatives in Hooksett, New Hampshire. You might recognize that name from the manager forum we have and also the Facebook Manager SE group as a frequent contributor. Tell us what you got, Rick, what it's done for you. The new job view by Mitchell One uh, has been really helpful for not only our shop, but also for our customers. The job view invoices are way easier to read than any of the previous invoices that were offered. Uh, everything's organized, nice and neat, by the job, and it's, it, makes, it makes reading the invoice way, way easier. Uh, another thing for the shop, on the shop side, is uh, the fact that we can do multiple discounts. Uh, multiple discounts allows us to do a discount on the whole order, or just one job, like if we had an oil change special for 10% off, we could just discount that oil change and not discount the whole job. Um, another part of job view is the profit figures. Uh, we now have gross profit uh, per hour, which is a great metric for measuring your shop. And we have that figure available not only as a whole order, but also on each individual job. Uh, so we can see where, what jobs are not making us money and which ones are. Uh, and what's even better is those profit figures are now available in history records where they were never available before. So it really makes going back and looking at what jobs were helpful uh, in, in history um, a, a great benefit. And finally, handling the, um, the deferred work. If somebody wanted to not do a particular job already on the order, we could one click move that over to a revision, or we could one click and make that job a can job and save it for later for any other uh, time we might need it again. Um, all of these things combined really, I feel, make buy the job or job view uh, a big benefit uh, to our shop.